guys, the Super View Show here for another episode of Why You Should Listen To. This is a show where all I do is talk about sh- artists that deserve more streaming numbers on Spotify because their streaming numbers are low or lower than I would expect them to be at certain times of the year. And this one in particular is a big one. And I, here's why I think you guys should listen to The Beach Boys. As you can see here, I have The Beach Boys Sounds of Summer on vinyl. I also have other vinyl of theirs as well. Certain albums like Love You or Pet Sounds I have over there as well. But since we're getting into the summer season and it's getting really hot out, and I figured if you're looking for some good fun in the sun music, definitely check out the Beach Boys with incredible hits such as California Girls, I Get Around, Surfing Safari, Surfing USA, Fun, 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 Surfer Girl, Don't Worry Baby, Little Deuce Coop, Shut Down, Help Me Rhonda. Be True to Your School, When I Grow Up To Be A Man. There's so many great songs on here that are just such great like beach songs, like Good Vibrations, Do It Again, Kokomo. I always joke around with people saying, I've always wanted, I have always joke with people nowadays, and I'm like, you know what, get me out of work, because I have a job outside of the Super Beach Show, just saying. Um, I want to get out of work and have to take a first class trip down to Kokomo. I always joke about that, because Kokomo's not a real place. But... um. It's written for the movie Cocktail, of course. Um, and the Beach Boys, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Rock and Roll Music, Dance, 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 Do You Want to Dance, Soup John B, God Only Knows. There are so many great songs by the Beach Boys, and they are one of the most influential bands ever. And did they think they would they would be that? No. But because of Brian Wilson's creative genius and his musical output, um, he was originally they started out by writing surf music and beach music and fun in the sun music, and then they started to go in a different direction that I actually liked quite a bit. They started doing experimental music with Pet Sounds. Uh, the unreleased album Smile is a big one. Um, I'm not going to go too much in depth with them, but I, I just want to say I'll give a plug for someone, a guy I like to watch on YouTube, honestly. His name is Jeffrey Stillwell. Jeffrey Stillwell. Um, has uploaded a ton of Beach Boy videos to his YouTube channel, especially one called one that's called "Why Brian Wilson Is a Genius." Um, it goes. It doesn't really focus on the surfing music, like like fun, fun, fun. It doesn't surf surfing USA. It doesn't really focus on those. It focuses, it focuses more on like the experimental music. But it goes in in depth with how he did, he did a fantastic job talking about how Brian Wilson is a, just a thorough musical genius to this day. I saw him last year, and the guy's a musical genius. I'm telling you. Um, and how he composed the songs, how he wrote certain songs, and all this other stuff. Um, I'm going to leave a link for his uh, uh, two of his videos in the description of this video, so you all can check it out on your own, um, and how you can listen to... Uh, I, 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 that's, listen, I could, this guy did an incredible job on these videos, and his two videos I'll check out. Let, the, I'll leave in the description for you guys. One is called um, Why Brian Wilson is a Genius, and the other one is called The Lost Years of Brian Wilson. Um, and you could check out other stuff on his channel. He does like top 10 inspired Beach Boys bands or whatever, like, you know. Um, but overall, like this band, I did see the Beach Boys a couple, two, 2018 I saw them. And they were great. I mean, yes, some of them are dead, but the newer Beach Boys plus Mike Love and Bruce Johnson were great. They had a, they were such a fun show. They were still singing the same old Beach Boy hits. And it was just a lot of fun. I took my grandfather, I took my father, so three generations in the in the in the um, the venue. It was a wonderful time. I loved it. Um, but also mainly because I, one of the reasons why you should listen to the Beach Boys is because their music is timeless. I say that about a lot of artists, but really, you could put on a Beach Boys record right now, and it'll still sound fresh and clean. Whereas a lot of other summer music today sounds very modern-esque, and it's more, in 20 years from now, it's not going to be timeless. The Beach Boys cut them fresh. They cut the vocals fresh. They cut the sounds fresh, the guitar, the drums, everything. And they cut them fresh. So now, in 200 years from now, you could listen to a Beach Boys song, or even other artists as well from the 60s as well. And you can listen to them, and basically, it'll still sound fresh forever. It's insane. I mean, the songs are going to live past them, and they're still touring. It's crazy. Um, I do recommend checking out the Beach Boys if you have not ever checked them out. Like, wouldn't it be nice as all over those Fallout, Fallout uh, trailers or whatever, you know? Or I, I think the Fallout games used Wouldn't It Be Nice at one point. But one more thing I want to touch on really quick is Good Vibrations. Good Vibrations was one of the first songs I ever was exposed to. One of the first ever pieces of music I was ever exposed to. And... 
it is honestly one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life. I listen to music on a daily basis. I really do. But listening to Good Vibrations, there's nothing quite like listening to it. Um, it's, it's a trip in a really great way. Listening to Good Vibrations is amazing. It's a fantastic, timeless song. Um, the line, I don't know how, I don't know where, but she sends me there. Just flawless song. Perfect song, in my opinion. It's absolutely perfect. It's one of the most pivotal songs ever recorded. God only knows as well, but Good Vibrations just stands up as like this amazing piece of sonic architecture. It's a fantastic song. I really recommend you check it out if you haven't heard it. Um, if you have never, never even heard of the Beach Boys, I recommend you listen to the Beach Boys in general. Because uh, they're just a fantastic group, fantastic band, timeless, timeless music about the beach, surf, the waves up. I mean, come on, it's the sounds of summer for a reason, guys. Let's be real, you know. And there's the back cover right there of the surfboards. Here's the inside cover with all the different songs. And it even shows when the songs peaked on the Hot 100. Like, I, I get around peaked at number one on May 23rd, 1964. It says it right here. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is obviously the vinyl one, but if you if you ever get like a CD of them or stream them on Spotify, I, re- I recommend listening to them. They're an amazing. Their harmonies, all the the instruments they play are are perfect. Everything about them as artists were amazing, and I really recommend you check them out. But this is why you should listen to the Beach Boys. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Have you heard of the Beach Boys? Have you heard some of their songs? Maybe your parents played them in the car when you were younger. So, like, fun, 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 Surfing USA, Bob Moran, whatever. Just let, please comment below and share your thoughts on the Beach Boys and any, and any other songs of theirs you may like that I haven't mentioned. Um, feel free to jump down in the comment section below and share them with me. But for all of your why you should listen to videos, keep it locked on the Super Show. The J-Man is off to work. We'll see you guys later and surf's up.